Hello from Ocean Blue Project. I'm Richard Artiberry. Some of you met me at Beach Cleanups, um, director of Ocean Blue Project. Well, I'd like to say thank you guys for all your help. Um, we've made a huge impact. I'm going to show you just a little bit of the debris that we have found. We're still not finished sorting. We've got uh, several hundred pounds left. It's mixed with uh, sand. And it's been a little bit moist last night. It rained a little bit, so it slows us down. But I want to show you just what we've sorted. Um, so we're about to wash it in these tubs and to get all the sand off um, just so we have a true count of what we are collecting. Um, anyway, we're getting close to a thousand pounds pretty easily. But um, I'm going to kind of turn the camera and show you guys what we're collecting. I'll start out with the ropes um, and then we'll go to the plastic and then we'll go to some deposits of uh, bottles and plastic bottles that we find. And they'll, they'll go back to the deposit hopefully today or tomorrow. Anyway, I can't wait to show you. I'm going to turn the camera and uh, let you guys see what you guys have removed off these beaches. And thanks so much for your passion. Thanks for supporting Ocean Blue Project. Thanks for donating to our cause. Um, our goal is 50,000 pounds and we're on our eighth beach cleanup now. So next weekend we'll have another one at Bob Straw uh, State Park. Come join us. Uh, I think there's 50 people going to join hands and we're going to go unleash on another beach. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera and show you guys what's going on. Sorry for the truck there. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to put this in here and we're going to start out with the uh, ropes. So what we'll do is we'll dump, we'll dump some ropes in here. Just a little bit of what we find off these beaches that float in as marine debris. A little bit of sand there, so we're going to wash it off, get the sand out. We'll put the sand back on the beach where it belongs. This is uh, what the volunteers are picking up. Look at this nice, looks like a little crab fishing, huh? And we'll put some more in here. I, we're going to weigh this stuff and figure out how many pounds we have picked up. We've got another little crab sack here. Get that out of the ocean. That's not good for whales. Anyway, we'll keep, keep coming in here with more. And we're still sorting, of course, so we got plenty more to come. It's going to take us probably a week or so to get all this stuff sorted. We like to sort it because we don't want to just throw it in the landfill. We would rather utilize if anyone's making jewelry out of ropes. We'd like to send it to them so they can utilize some of the stuff. It's just better than throwing it in the trash. That's most of all the ropes that we're finding. There's still some some in the sorting bin. I'll show you what that sorting bin looks like in a minute. But you can see guys, this is a this is a water rope, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna move this bin out of the way and you'll see some bare ground there, and then we're gonna put this bin back. I'm using using these at this little ranch we're staying at. There's a plastic lighter. Now we're going to start with some of the plastic. Some of you guys may have remembered some of this that you picked up off the Oregon coast. Did you guys find him? Nope, I found him. Or her. Well, there's two buckets now. We we'll got some more. So, a little bit of plastic that we find off beaches that float in from the ocean. That's probably more or less lost and found. So there's a little bit of uh, plastic that we find. We still have quite a bit more. Um, I'm going to also show you some of the 
cans that we have. I'm gonna move this. It's quite heavy. I don't know how many pounds that weighs yet. We will weigh. And then we'll put another bin back here, kind of reusing them and try not to break the bottom. Take them back to the bottom now. How about that for some impact? Um, anyway, guys, it's amazing. I'm going to bring you one more bin and I'll kind of show you what we're doing. I'll leave it there for a second. Of course, these are pretty heavy. I'll kind of get it closer here and you can see. Well, we've been using this thing because someone gave it to us and we shake the sand out of it. We pick the trash out and these little, little landscape things and we find nurdles. A little piece of rope there, a piece of styrofoam and we get that stuff out, any woody debris and then we um, put this in the bucket. And we kind of end up, what we'll end up with is a whole bunch of sand, you can see it. We try to leave that sand on the beaches, but we don't really count the weight of the sand. You can see a cigarette butt and whatnot in there. Um, we don't like to count the weight of the sand. It's not much of our impact. It's just a extra weight. You can see that big piece. Well, anyway, guys, I just want to kind of show you how amazing you guys are. And, you know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here making this impact. And um, it's just something that we dearly love. And... Thanks for all your help, thanks for your donations, and thanks for your support. Thanks for liking our Facebook page, and uh, we'll see you at the next Beach Cleanup. See you.